So a few months ago, I made a video that was about how to repost a tweet to Instagram. And this was popular uh, with Gary Vaynerchuk. He does this a lot. This is what these posts are. Um, and you'll see this a lot on Instagram. And people might say a lot of the comments were, well, shouldn't I just screenshot it and post it? The issue with when you screenshot a tweet and try to post it on Instagram, it just doesn't look good. It just has a bunch of clutter. Uh, and if you care about what your Instagram feed looks like, which I used to care a lot more than I do now, but um, use that video that I will link down in the, the description below, or you can use what I'm about to show you. When I had made that video, I had this company, Picasso, reach out to me and ask me if I would be interested in doing a video on their app that they were building, which they've done a lot since they initially asked me that. I may or may not have totally forgot that I said that I would make this video, but here we are now. And I actually do really love this. Basically what Picasso is, is either a browser extension or an app on your desktop that allows you to take tweets and turn them into either uh, one by one square post for Instagram, or they also let you do the nine by 16 full size post uh, for Instagram. They have a couple different pricing models, which I'm just going to be upfront here that the free model just allows you to do the standard layout. So if you're going to do really the Instagram post size and the story post size, you're going to need to pay for the $7 a month. So if you're not, you know, making money off of your Instagram or you're not uh, interested in, in doing that, then this may not be the best option for you. The other video might be a better option for kind of the hobbyist Instagrammers. But if you are, um, you know, a professional marketer or you have a brand that you want to put out there, then, you know, eight bucks a month is not a lot, especially to try it for a month, see if it's something you use, see if those posts get engagement. Uh, and if they do, then it's totally worth that. Um, there is a free version, though, if you just want to try it out uh, just a little bit. And again, there will be uh, links to that down in the description. So basically, the idea is if you take a tweet like this one and copy the URL, you can just paste it right in here and take the screenshot and turn it into whatever you want. So let's just say we want to do this one right here. And we're going to say screenshot. And this is what that post is going to look like. And the reason it's not actually square is because I didn't select that um, option, which is down here. So let's say I wanted to keep it dark because that's kind of my branding is a little less of the, the white backgrounds and more of the like dark blues and stuff. So this would be, you know, nice. It would fit right in. I can download. I can also check download automatically. So it'll do that. Um, I can download that image and then I can go ahead and post that to Instagram, which for me, I use Hootsuite. So I actually deleted Instagram off my phone because I'm a bit of a social media addict. So a, a little pro tip is if you are interested in posting on social media like Instagram, um, the way to get around, you can do basically everything uh, on the Instagram.com page except for uploading. But you can upload uh, via Hootsuite. So I can go ahead and I can create a post and I can upload that post that should have just downloaded and it'll be under the P for Picasso. There we go. And that post would then post like that. There's a bunch of different options with Picasso. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a second how to use the extension, the browser extension, which is really cool. But anyway, you get the idea. This looks better than just taking, you know, a blank screenshot on your your phone or your laptop and trying to post it to Instagram. Uh, now, the other thing you can do is download the browser extension, which works for Chrome and Firefox. And I have it already installed, but you would just click on that link and come over to um, the Chrome Web Store and install it. So if it's not showing up, you just have to go up, right click, go to manage your extensions and turn it on because I had mine turned off. Now, if I go back to Twitter, you can see there's this little uh, screenshot by every post. So not only can I screenshot my own posts, if I said, oh, uh, she said something that I want to share on my Instagram, I can go ahead and click the screenshot. It'll open up Picasso and automatically turn that into a post. And if I want to change how that's formatted, I can do that pretty easily as well. Um, just like that. So 
yeah, this is a really cool app uh, and they're constantly adding new features. So if you're interested in something specific that you don't see here, um, there's a lot that it can do that I didn't show in this video. There's also a lot of automation. So uh, if there's, let's say, a celebrity account that you like to repost stuff onto your Twitter or you just don't want to have to go through the process where you just want to say, when I post something on Twitter, I want it to screenshot and I want it to upload to Instagram. Under the same plan that you have all those other options, you have these automation plans, which there's some really cool stuff here. I'm actually just kind of digging into it because I just remembered that I could do this. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking about creating some tweet automatic tweets to screenshots. So basically pulling some popular people in a space that I, in the mental health space, and taking their posts and automatically putting them in a feed on a separate Instagram page and see how that does. So there's probably all kinds of really cool stuff you can do with this. Like I said, the pricing is $8 a month. I think it's $9, $10 a month if you just do it monthly. And if you uh, check out the link below, that, that will help support the channel. That will help support my podcast, which is happyyouarehere.life if you're interested in checking that out. And yeah, let me know if in the comments below if there's any questions you have. Um, with the other video, I answered a ton of questions. I don't know all the answers, but hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.